On the show, the House Republican Conference Assistant Whip, Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis. It's good to see you again, Congresswoman. Okay, we're going to get right at it, because this story is alarming people. The Washington Post reports the Biden White House has U.S. intelligence on the exact whereabouts of top Hamas terror leaders in Gaza. Now, the, the criticism is it could have been using, the White House has been using that intelligence as a cudgel, withholding it to make Israel stop its push into Rafah. So critics are asking, why didn't the Biden team give Israel this information sooner? You know, how about stopping Hamas? How about less people would be dead if not for Hamas's carnage? What do you think? Well, that's absolutely right. If we have intelligence, we should be sharing it with our ally Israel. As we know, the security of Israel is America's security as well. And we are so intertwined as partners in the fight against terrorism that to withhold any information from Israel regarding where terrorists who have committed horrific attacks against humanity on October 7th and since, um, holding this information is hurting our own country. And this is just another example of how President Biden has hurt the American people, hurt our national security, and has hurt our reputation on the world stage. You know, critics are asking, where is Biden's speeches hammering Hamas to release the five U.S. hostages? You know, let's get your reaction. By the way, Secretary of State Blinken is harshly criticizing Israel over how it's planning to protect civilians. Israel saying it's doing all it can that it's Hamas that's a problem. Watch former President Trump here. I'm officially calling on Joe Biden and the Democrat National Committee to return the donations of all anti-Semites, American haters, and financiers of chaos who have funded the chaos on our campuses. Return the money, Joe. They raised plenty of money. When I'm president, we will not allow our colleges to be taken over by violent radicals. And if you come here from another country and try to bring jihadism or anti-Americanism or anti-Semitism to our campuses, we will immediately deport you. What do you think, Congresswoman? Well, I've actually introduced legislation that would do just that. It would strip uh, visas from students foreign students who have participated in anti-Semitic activity on our campuses. I've also authored another piece of legislation to strip federal funding from institutions if they do not hold those individuals accountable for their actions, whether it be professors or student organizations. Uh, and I will say that there is a need to look at 501Cs, their status. Uh, let's look at the foreign dollars that are coming into some of these 501c3s and c4s that are then turned into super PAC, PAC money uh, that are used uh, to interfere with our elections. Uh, that is a new bill that I've introduced in Ways and Means as well. But President Trump is absolutely right. There are foreign uh, people who are participating in our elections by using these uh, 501c4s as uh, cover. And we need to get to the bottom of that and punish those 501c3s that are allowing it to happen. But the more the bigger issue here is that we have a president right now who is so concerned with the far left that he would undermine our ally, put our own national security at risk. And he's siding, in a way, right, with Hamas and Iran if he is not providing this intelligence to Israel. So it yeah, is you know, absolutely... Outrageous. This story we brought on Friday that the Biden White House told Congress it would waive sanctions on military sales to nations like Qatar, Lebanon, Yemen uh, until, you know, through, he's going to waive it through April of next year. You know, so that's when he's giving, you know, Israel saying, you know, stop it with invading Rafah and Qatar backs Hamas, it shelters Hamas top terrorists including its leader. Lebanon is home to terror group Hezbollah. Yemen is home to the Houthis attacking shipping lanes on the Red Sea. Also, there's a reports coming out of that the U.N. is saying that potentially the number of casualties in Gaza has been overstated, um, that, you know, these numbers come from Hamas terrorist fighters. The U.S. can't independently confirm those numbers, but the U.N. looks like it's saying, yeah, the numbers are cutting, they're cutting the numbers in half of the number of casualties and fatalities there. Your final word on all of this. Well, we want to obviously um, not see a tremendous loss of life, and we want to protect as many lives as possible of these civilians. But the problem is, is that Hamas uses them as shields, 
okay? They are a terrorist organization that uses their own people as shields. And so, you know, Israel has to defend itself, and, and our president and our country should do everything we can to support Israel in this fight against terrorism, because you know what? This fight can happen here in the United States with this God. wide open border of our president. Congressman Meliotakis, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to see you.